Three members of the squirrel family hanging out together. <laughs> As usual, the red squirrel is intimidating everybody. Look at the red squirrel, he's got... He's getting one by one and take him over to another private place over there. That's cute. Take that one, take him back and put it in his little stash over there. Run back and get another one. We'll put it in his stash. That's funny, I've never seen a red squirrel do that before. He's clicking in a little pile in a little place over there on a, on a little hiding, temporary hiding place. Rather than stay out in the open and eat them, he's going to move them to another place and he'll eat them over there later, I guess. That's funny. And I like the way he kicks off the tree each time he wants it. When he comes back, he's going to kick off the tree. Now he's going to go back and get another one kick off the tree. Which is just totally a flourish. It's not necessary to kick off the tree. Kick off the tree. That's funny. I guess it's it's like a temporary cache he's got over there. That way he can move faster rather than eating them one by one which in which case the chipmunk which is down here which I don't think you can see let me move it down a little bit now there's the chipmunk there and he's thinking that uh, the chipmunk can grab like 20 or 30 seeds and the time he eats one <laughs> so he's got an idea to go and grab them as fast as he can and go back and get another one Sort of like the uh, equivalent of a chipmunk. Now, now he's going to speed it up here. He's running. I've never seen a red squirrel do that. It's so cute. He's basically making a, gathering them up from here and going over there and taking them apart. Watch him kick off the tree. Kick off the tree. Just doing that for fun. Just banking off the tree. Bank. Showing off. I got the gray squirrel coming over here. This is not going to go over well. Back off of it. You can see there's a gray squirrel there now, which is gonna. Yeah, there he goes. I knew, it. I knew he wouldn't put up with that. That's a red squirrel for you. Now he's gonna go over there to his little stash. Yeah, chase away the chipmunk. Yeah, don't let that chipmunk steal your seeds. <laughs> that energy. <laughs> There's like three chipmunks now that can drive him nuts. Let's see if he gets back to his job here. Okay, get one. Bank off the tree. I don't know, he slowed down there. In the meantime, there's a bird over here stealing his seeds. Can you see that? <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a robin over there. He's stealing every one of the seeds that the bird, that this red squirrel just put there. 
That's harsh. <laughs> oh, no, here we're back to the gray, gray and the red. He's not going to let that gray squirrel stay there. Bank off the tree. There he goes. That's funny. See, the gray squirrel's eating it one by one. The red squirrel's got this theory that he's going to go back and forth as fast as he can. That one little stash he had over there. And in the meantime, keep an eye on that robin because <laughs> robin was over there stole about a dozen of his, chip, of his sunflower seeds. I don't know this count of how many times he's gone back and forth. Dozens of times now. I love the way he banks off the tree each time. You know, there's a toey over here now. A toey is going to... See, a red squirrel is a control freak, but in nature it's kind of difficult. There's going to be too many chipmunks around now. That is about the cutest thing. Bank off the tree? Yeah, I love it. Bank shot off the tree. Maybe he's going to cover those up with leaves or something once he gets them in there, but... Bank of the tree. Now the trick to getting this kind of fun behavior out of animals is to one, be consistent, and two, be generous. Generosity makes you friends in the animal world. Generosity and consistency.
<laughs> I'll put up with that. <laughs> Red squirrel just taking that gray squirrel. <laughs> Uh, the red squirrel's back to his back on Eli got a little lost focus there for a little bit. It's spring guys, it's not like fall. Uh, the red squirrel's back to doing his stocking up. I don't know how many times he's gone back and forth on a tree, watching him bank off a tree. Chase away the gray squirrel for it. There you go. <laughs> I missed that one. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> He's chasing the gray squirrel all over the place. And while he's doing that, somebody's going to come over here and steal his food. Gray squirrel's back. Here comes the red squirrel. Now he's going back to his stocking up the things in that one little spot over there. Time he decided every once in a while he just changes, chases the gray squirrel for good measure. What's up, bud?
now he has to go a little further to get the seeds. Three species of squirrel. Okay, we're back. A little bit of a different angle here. And the squirrel is attacking a fresh supply of sunflower seeds. It's a little bit of a variation on the typical squirrel thing of eating as fast as they can. This guy's making himself a little cash, which, even though it's the middle of May, he realizes in his brain that he can hide from them faster than he can eat them one by one. And eat them later. Of course, the problem with caching is that there's probably a blue jays up in the tree watching him quietly. And it, as soon as he turns his back and thinks he's got his cash to go down there and scratch up the leaves and feast on his cash after he's been going back and forth for 30 minutes. I gotta say, I've never seen a red squirrel do this before. And there's a bunch of uh, chipmunks around a one gray squirrel. Every once in a while, he has to keep the chipmunks honest. He's going to have to cover those seeds up, but somebody's going to find them. And, and the odds of him actually feasting on all those that he's hiding is pretty slim. <laughs> Keep the chipmunks honest. As far as the red squirrel is concerned, he's the king of the forest. Fears nothing. Red squirrel may think he's the king of the forest, but the chipmunks win in the long term. Although he's kind of taking a page from the chipmunks playbook, but he doesn't have cheek pouches, but he's doing a little cash in there. Now he's burying it a little bit deeper. Good day, can you be? 
He's just been letting him collect there, but now he's covering him up. That's smart. He's burying him in a little dirt in the hillside there and covering him with leaves. He's kind of got all of his eggs in one basket. He's probably got, uh, by now, close to a hundred seeds in there. He's trying to put them down there and cover them up with some layers of dirt and leaves. Actually rather impressive. He's really, yeah, that's what I think he's got that big stash there. He needed to cover it up. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Bury those deep. That is cute. He's, yeah. I mean, that's a monster stash there. He's, I don't know, he's got easily six or seven dozen sunflower seeds in there. He's really burying them good now. Smart. Now, of course, <laughs> while I'm talking to the red squirrel, the gray squirrel's over here eating one by one. <laughs> it's not exactly a genus. So, I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's, the red squirrel's already full earlier today, so. Okay, let's see where he goes this time. Yeah, I bet he's going to change position to go to a different place. These guys are running right underneath my feet. I think the red squirrel's about tapped out. Now he's back over there now making sure that his stash is good and covered up. Put a lot of work into that stash. Now it begs the question, how many chipmunks and other birds and stuff were watching him secretly while he was making that big haul? That is cute. <laughs> He's trying to cover up with a bunch of leaves so it blends in with the surroundings. Good job, buddy. Yeah, you probably, you probably ran a couple of miles, huh? <sighs> I 
Okay, now if he's smart, he won't. He's all got that all sealed up back there. He won't go back to that other place again. And now he's gonna eat a few. He's decided to make just a few random caches. And now he's going over here. To, okay, well. And now he's just making a few random burials. Spreading them all over, that might just be some kind of a... Just putting one or two in about five or six different places since he covered up the big cash. That might just be a ploy to distract attention. So over here is where his main cache was. And it's like, you know, five or six inches of leaves above the ground there, so he's done a pretty good job of burying it. You can tell it's been pretty disturbed, but uh, very fairly deep down there. So with a little bit of luck, nobody else will steal it.